All right, time right now, 5.51 on your Monday morning. More people, you know, just trying to watch movies right now during the pandemic. Michelle's letting us know what's trending. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about off in the box office this yeah. weekend to a famous producer turned murderer. That is what is trending on your Monday morning. <laughs> One of the most influential producers in pop music history, Phil Spector, has died at age 81. His wall of sound studio mastery revolutionized recording and produced hits for the Righteous Brothers, the Ronettes, and more in the 60s. Of course, he worked with John Lennon and George Harrison of the Beatles after producing the band's final studio album, Let It Be. But in 2003, he was accused and later convicted of murdering actress Lana Clarkson and sentenced to 19 years to life in prison in California. And I didn't know all of this. I knew yeah. more of what he was tied to with the Beatles, but mm. not the rest, the rest of it. Of it. Yeah. For some reason, I missed that half. <laughs> I feel like you could probably yeah. spend some time online today and get a lot Definitely. of that half. Yeah. Also this morning, another reason to spend some time online, I actually really love this, Morgan Freeman's Instagram page. Today, he plans to celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day awesome. with a dozen hourly videos wow. he narrates about the late civil rights icon's words, life, and legacy. That's very cool. It's so perfect. I was actually thinking yesterday because, you know, I don't have kids in school mm -hmm. or at all. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like, what, you know, our kids in school, not school, you know, Martin Luther King right. Day. And I was thinking, um, I know that some schools for Veterans Day uh, stopped having the day off and instead have Veterans Day guided mm -hmm. programming. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I was just wondering, you know, if that happened Which here. Which path are doing? Morgan Freeman, take educate care them of it. or yeah. take the day off. But yeah. For us today, uh, in movie news, today Liam Neeson. The Marksman debuted in first at the pandemic box office, <laughs> 3.2 million dollar weekend, <laughs> which is fine these days. <laughs> also, a happy birthday to Kevin Costner. He is 66 today. All right. Okay. Michelle always letting us know everything <laughs> that we kind of missed there. When I, you've been pretty good with movies lately. I feel trying like. to. I, I yeah. was actually Michelle told me about the Night Stalker a couple weeks ago. It's a, the, <laughs> the Netflix <laughs> documentary. Watch that sure. this weekend. It's terrifying, but it's a docu series on kind of a, a serial killer, but Kind of interesting. I feel like I we're just waking up these days and watching things that we normally would. It just gives me have more time to film. Yeah. Sorry, 553 this morning. I want to give you a live look outside. We did see some assault crews out there this morning. I'm going to tell you why more people are spending money at the gas station.